Hey everyone, welcome back to another video about the new contrast paints. As always, my name is Jay, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about yellow. The reason why I've, I've been super excited to try out the yellow, and I should have made it in my previous video, but I wanted to do a whole video on yellow. The reason is, yellow is one of the hardest colors to paint, as many of you know. And I, in fact, made a new Miniature Painting 101 that'll be out in this upcoming week. Uh, we'll make it earlier for the Patreon subscribers, if you want to go check it out. But um, about how to paint yellow using a variety of methods. And um, yellow is difficult, right? It's a harder color to paint, it's a harder color to shade and to pull off. So I was very excited to hear about the contrast paint, specifically the yellow. And as you know, I'm an Imperial Fist player. I love playing Imperial Fists. It's my favorite faction of Space Marines and I've been painting a lot of them lately if you've been catching my painting with Jays. So I'm gonna be painting up a, um, an Imperial Fist color scheme today on a, uh, on a, a space marine and a and I'm gonna just compare you know just a preliminary look of how uh, the yellows turn out on this model to how they turn out on a model that I've spent a lot more time on I'm really excited to try this out today so as always let's check out the yellow contrast range for GW and intentionally I'm going with the brighter yellow because I want that to be my my imperial fist color let's get started mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. I have an easy to assemble Primaris Reaver here, primed white. The reason why I went with white is I really want it to be a true yellow. Um, the other option is using the uh, the Wraith Bone, but I really want to try it over a white today and uh, see how it turns out. I'm gonna be using uh, Yandin Yellow. That is the nice bright uh, yellow, and that's why I like to paint my Imperial Fists, as you know, those of you know Watch me play my games. So let's open up the pot here. And I'm just gonna take my handy dandy GW shade brush, same brush as last time, and take it directly from the pot and apply it over the model. Now I'm gonna intentionally miss certain areas because um, I'm gonna like, uh, just to save time, right? I'm not gonna paint all the area yellow, but as you can see, now the thing is with painting with this yen in yellow is that you have to be prepared for yellow, like orangey yellow recesses, right? Uh, it is not a, like I like to paint mine usually black, um, not, uh, look at that, it's settling quite nicely. I love the way that you can manipulate the pigments on these things, but it settles quite nicely. So let's just paint his arm here. And look at that. So this is gonna save a lot of time. Now, for this video, I am gonna combine it with a dry color. I think a dry will really bring some of these areas to life. So I'm gonna show you just with the uh, the shade, sorry, just with the, the contrast paint first. And then I will show you again with the uh, with the dry as well. But as you can see, it goes on quite nicely and it settles. It tends to settle. It doesn't show this, especially this color. I really love it. It doesn't show brush strokes as much. But this is one of those colors that can save people potentially a lot of time. Um, because yellow is a difficult color to paint. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun for those people who have you know, a lot of models that really want to paint up a yellow army, like Imperial Fists and uh, it's gonna save them a lot of time. As I said, it's gonna be good. So let's just keep covering this model with yellow. I really like the contrast paint so far. I'm just gonna keep covering up the area, do a nice thick coat. It's a darker yellow than I usually use for my Imperial Fist, but I think this is a good yellow. This is not bad at all. It's a little darker than I normally use, as I said, but I don't think this is out of the realm of Imperial Fists. I really don't. And as you can see, it has nice, um, it has darker recesses that it's settling into. And I'm gonna keep going around the miniature here. and painting along. I missed a spot. All I'm doing is just taking it directly from the pot 
Now, if you're painting up a lot of Imperial Fists, like I currently am, this would take you uh, several pots of this paint. You know, but that's okay, because usually for my yellows, I paint using the four steps in one. So this isn't bad at all. You know, one heavy step, and then it'd be done. Now, as you can see, there's a bit of pooling right there, so I'm just going to brush it away. There we go. And let's continue. But it's really nice. I love the pigmentation. As you can see, it is great pigmentation. It's one coat, and this thing is definitely yellow. You know, it is not... Uh, I really like this yellow, too. It's a bit of a gold. It has a bit of a golden tone to it. So it's a warm yellow. And that's why I intentionally wanted to go over a white. I felt that if you um, went over the Wraith Bone, it would actually end up being too warm. I, I thought over a white would be nicer. I wouldn't put it over the, the gray because I think it would just cool it down too much and then end up with a boring yellow, you know, dull it down too much. Cool. So I'm just going to finish painting up this guy, let it dry, and we'll get back. All right. So after about, you know, it took about 10 minutes to dry, I've only spent about, I don't know, five, ten, five, six minutes painting the model actually, just laying it down. And as you can see, it is a nice golden yellow. It is nice. Uh, the recesses are deep, like the reddish, warm, goldy yellow, which is cool. If you want that color, this is good. And now this color is a little too golden for my taste for Imperial Fist. Now, if you want to stay at this color, feel free. What I would recommend doing is taking some a dry brushing. Now, I, I would go with either, uh, you know, Hexus Pale Sun, or in this case, I'm going to go with Flash Gets Yellow. I'm going to go with a nice yellow and I'm going to dry, do a quick dry brush over the areas, uh, over the, the um, armor, just to bring up a little bit more yellow. So let's go ahead and do that as we are uh, painting this model. So as you can see, I'm just going to take a little bit, put in my palette, a little bit on my dry brush, get most of the pigment off, and I'm just going to do a nice light dry brush over the model, trying to pick up on the, uh, the raised surfaces and uh, bring a little bit more yellow back to the model here. So I'm just going to do this. Yeah, a little more paint. So I'm just going to, as I said, it is a little bit too dark for my taste, but it wouldn't be bad. Some people would like this color. I'm not against it either. Just um, it's a little too dark, so I'm going to lighten it up just lightly with a little bit of a dry brush. Try to pick up on the raised surfaces, and this should um, bring a little bit, as you can see, of yellow back to it. Um, as you can see by the lines, just uh, it'll tone down a little bit of the goldenness and bring a little more of a bright popping yellow to the miniature. Excellent. So I'm just going to keep doing a little dry brush around the miniature for a couple minutes and I'll show you when it is all done. Alright, so while the white is drying on the face, I'm going to take some, some red, make on my brush here, and paint the red. So I'm going to take some Blood Angels Red, put it paint in all the, uh, the recesses, oh, Jesus, the edging of the armor. As I said, I'm switching up brushes for this part because I just want to paint the gaps, the, uh, not the gaps, the trim, not the whole armor. Let's keep painting. So this is cool. Look at 
that. All right, let's paint. Chest symbol. And as you can see, the red goes over the yellow easily. Cool. Paint the purity seal. Nice. And while the and when the um, white is dried, I will paint the eyes and get back to you. So I let the the paints dry for about twenty minutes, and here's what the model looks like. As you can see, it turned out pretty nice for the amount of time. In the end, I think I spent about I don't know fifteen to twenty minutes on it. Not too much. And I like the way that it turned out. A couple notes, the black and gray don't completely go over the yellow. I learned that, so I'll have to clean it up next time. But uh, it turned out nicely. All I did was I painted the gaps in the armor, the gun, and like all the metallics in the gaps in the armor with the gray, the face with the white and the eyes with the red, the thing with the red, and all the um, leather black. And in the end, I think it turned out really nicely for the amount of time I put into it. This is a tournament ready model. Like if I was playing a tournament and I saw this model across from me, I wouldn't judge it, you know? That's definitely more than three color minimum. It has a bit of shading. It turned out okay. And as I said, it was just a quick dry brush over the yellows and really brought the yellows to life. Now this is a reference point. Now this is a model I spent about four times the length on than this one. And as you can see, definitely different standards of tabletop, higher tabletop, lower tabletop. But that being said, if I had to paint up 100 Space Marines or even 30 Space Marines quickly, I didn't have the time or I've had these models unpainted for a while, I wouldn't have a problem going with this standard. I really wouldn't, you know? It is not the highest tabletop standard, as I said, and it is a little bit more gold and a yellow than I'd prefer. But that being said, this is definitely, uh, that's definitely still a, um, a Imperial Fist model, you know? It turned out nicely. I would have preferred a little bit brighter, lighter of a yellow like this one. But no complaints. As I said, based on the amount of time we spent on it, as you can see, it has a bit of shading, highlighting. Uh, it's definitely painted. No problem at all. I'm going to put that one back. So overall, I like it. For the amount of time, as I said, the amount of time and effort you put into it, it turned out pretty nicely. And uh, I'm happy with the yellows. And I hope you got something from this video. So let's summarize. All right, so to summarize this video, number one, the color. Does it go on nicely? I'd say yes. I think it has great coverage. It comes out. It's a bright golden yellow. Overall, I'd prefer a more yellow, you know, less golden yellow, a little bit less warmth to it. Um, but that's okay. As I said, it's a good color. It has great coverage. It's easy. And also, as I said, if you like the orange recesses versus I like the, the black recesses, um, I do in the end recommend a quick dry brush with something like a, um, an, a Flash Gets Yellow or maybe the Hexos Pale Sun. Probably Flash Gets Yellow. Just to give it a quick highlight and really make the details pop. But in the end, does it save time? Absolutely. Does it look good? I'd say it looks tabletop. I'd say if you painted up a bunch of these and put it on the tabletop, people are going to be, uh, they're going to be happy with them. You know, I'd say they're not going to be like the most wowed. You're not going to win best painted, but at the same time, you're going to fit in. It's going to be painted models. You're going to have a good time using your painted army. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's not a bad, it's a good color. I really like it. I think it'd be best over the white that I use today rather than the, um, the, warmer tone of the wraith bone because then i think it turned out even more warm just my opinion but in the end does it save time yes does it look good i'd say it looks good doesn't look amazing but it looks good for sure i think it'll definitely save you some time it looks good on the tabletop and i'm pretty impressed with these contrast paints so far is it worth the money i'd say so if you uh, if you want to paint you know, a large amount of yellow and you don't really want to take the time to build up your yellows or use glazes, um, this could be the paint for you. It's a little bit on the expensive side as I brought in my last video, but that's still, I'd still say it saves you some time. Prime white over it, uh, prime white and then paint over it. And in the end, I'd say it turned out pretty well. You would have a, a painted army in no time. That's what I think. Now, what do you think? Leave comments in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for more videos um, about the contrast paints. I'll definitely keep going over the line of paints. And uh, yeah, what do you think? Do you think they're worth the money? What do you think about the yellow? Do you like the color? Do you think it'll save people time? Would you recommend it to people? 
that's what I want to go over. Let's create a discussion in the comment section down below. So a huge thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. As you can see, their names go by my head. It's because of them that I keep making these videos. And please like the video, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. Stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting. With me?